Hey friends, welcome to a three-part series on my postpartum checklist. Stick around for all the episodes. Meal prep was the top of my list because when mama's off her feet for a couple of weeks, everybody's still gotta eat, especially the new nursing mommy. So putting away some nourishing meals in the freezer will allow for daddy, who's picking up the slack on every other area of the home, to have food at least covered for hopefully one meal a day. Then you can just do, you know, easy breakfast, easy lunch, and have a good home-cooked mommy-made meal at the end of a long day. I decided that making some meatball recipes would be a good versatile way of quick batch cooking with a variety of recipes. So we have ones that go well with pasta, with something more like mashed potatoes or rice and vegetables. And then I invested in one of these soup cubes this time around. So any stew, chili, in this case pasta sauce, that I batch cooked, I froze into these blocks essentially. Um, making it a lot easier to stack things well in the freezer and keep it organized. They will also be easier to warm up in a pot or a crock pot without having to fully thaw them out first as you would have to do if you froze everything flat in a gallon size plastic Ziploc bag. I've had that issue before and I just think this is going to add that much more convenience to the reheating of these meals. I chose recipes that are based on our autoimmune protocol diet and the reintroduction phase that we have gotten through, um, and I will link the recipes below as I know that that is a pretty unusual dietary restriction to follow, especially in postpartum. I also have enjoyed these energy balls um, in past postpartum seasons, either that friends had made me or getting them from Daily Harvest subscription, um, but I decided to be in control of the ingredients that were going into them this time around and allow myself to make more of them for less. So these are getting mixed up ahead of time and then they are going to be kept in the mini freezer in my bedroom. So I made a couple different energy ball recipes. I also made some oatmeal peanut butter cookie sandwiches, which were great, and some granola. And then I also wanted to stash our pantry up with a couple of side options or the things that you'd need to mix in to the other freezer meals when they're getting reheated to be used. I'm also keeping paper products on hand. Doing dishes is just one more thing on daddy's to-do list otherwise. For everything going in my nursing station, check out episode two, but here are just the snacks and beverages. Mother's milk tea, other types of teas, snacks that are salty, jerky, fruit in a variety of forms, other easy one-handed snacks, non-dairy yogurt, goat's milk, cheese, and crackers, coconut water, prune juice actually to help with constipation as I have endured constipation in postpartum, which was excruciating. <laughs> other juices that sounded good were grape juice and cranberry juice. I'm also keeping coconut milk to make tea lattes. So far this mini fridge has been so nice. I like having the separation of the fridge and freezer compartments. It's also an extremely quiet unit, so I'll link that below for anybody who is interested. 